2K, please just help Rodney make this free throw. It's very hard for him. We have just about a half season behind us. The rankings are clearer than ever, Greg. You feel confident starting to make some playoff predictions. Oh, Kevin, it's way too early for that. In injuries, other roster shakeups. There's just still so much that could happen and, and totally reshape those rankings. Now, look at Memphis's starting group. They've got Drummond, MP out there with Williams. Then it's Nash, and it's Hayes in at the one. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Here's Christie. That's good from Booker on the assist by Christie. And I'll bet that's what they talked about before the game, getting the ball inside early. Nash outside. Now, here's MP. Defense right on him. Drummond trying to get himself free. MP. MP's shot is good. Man, you watch MP. He is so talented. And this man, man, let me just tell you, he's determined. Outside, Davis. Pass to Christie. Booker outside. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. You got to blow the whistle when it's that obvious. Great call there by the official. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Well, I was able to talk with Lionel Hollins a couple of minutes ago. He said they know the challenge going up against this team that can score so many points in a hurry. He said we cannot try to match these guys basket for basket and get away from our defense. Because if you slack off these shooters even a little bit, then they really go off. We'll see if they can find that balance tonight and even this season series. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, sounds like they're very concerned about preventing an early run by their opponent. No doubt. You don't want to play catch up if you can avoid it. They're going to lean on their defense to try to keep this game in check. Yeah, I think they might want to play at a slower pace and try and avoid a track meet. Davis, the pass to top. And that one falls coming off of Davis's speed. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. For Memphis, they've gone two for four from the field so far today. One word you always hear the Grizzly players mention is chemistry. Yeah, you can't fake chemistry, and it's true. When you ask these guys what makes their team special, they point out what a tight-knit group they are. Some people might not think chemistry is a big deal, but it is huge when it comes to this league. And one thing is, if you look on paper, it could feel like this chemistry. But as you know, sometimes it doesn't translate to the real world. No, it does not translate. And then after that, if you don't have chemistry, you better have professionals. And it's Drummond with the ball. He'll bring it up for Memphis. They defeated Indiana in their last game. Yeah, it was all hands on deck. Helps to get points off the bench when you're on the road. Yeah, your second unit, those reserves, they can swing a game. Now, Booker. A 14-point game for him in the win against Atlanta. And how about the vision he displayed? Great job getting others involved and piling up the assist. And the fadeaway was the only option he had on that one. Defender there all over. And the dunk by MP. Ooh, what a finish there by MP. Look, the defense has been put on notice. Booker the pass to top. Here's Christie. Booker outside. Nash against Christie. Fires the three. Todd's shot is good. Todd's got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for the Wizards. Looks like it could be a big night for him. Very strong start here in the first quarter. Now, here's MP. He's tightly guarded. Good work there as it goes. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. Pass to top. Fires the three. It's rebounded by Hayes. Memphis leading by four. And there's the pass to MP. It's stolen by Davis. 
to the paint. Here's Booker. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's going to go on Killian Hayes. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. Two shots. And he can't hit the second. For Memphis, they've gone six of eight in the game so far. A very solid start for them. Passes it to Drummond. MP right side. And he uses the glass on the lane. MP's got 12 points in the game. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. Pass to Gafford. Nice ball movement by Washington. Pass to Booker. The three. The Grizzlies pull it in. Last time they met was in Memphis. Yeah, they cruised to a win in these teams' last encounter, and their field goal percentage was off the chart. Now here's Hayes. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. He's looking for MP and finds him. MP. Basket good. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. And Booker kicks to Davis. Back to Booker. Now the pass to Christie. High arcing shot. Gafford unable to get that one. Good defense by MP. Nash outside. To the inside. And it's Drummond missing. Wizards trail by seven. Pass to Christie. Takes the elbow jumper and trains it. Not all his mid-range jumpers are created equal. That's one they'll take all night long. Here's Hayes. He's averaging a bit over five points a game. To the middle. And it's Drummond with the jam. Drummond, a, a huge timeout target rolling to the rim. So timeout called here, the first for Washington. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. I'm sure Coach is going to give them an earful about that. He can't be happy with that soft interior D. Washington shooting 36% in this first quarter, trying to get their bearings. Back to Chandler from deep. The long distance three is barely. And they've got to talk to each other on D there. Miscommunication, and now he's able to make a pay. Now here's Nash. They've been leaning on him for a decent chunk of their offense. He's averaging over 15 points a game. A big target with good hands. Jackson doing damage in the pick and roll. And Beal kicks to Kispert. Here's Gafford. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim. Memphis leading by six. Moore outside. Dishes it to Nash. Six to shoot. Down low. Trying to find Jackson. He's got it now. Memphis needs to get off a shot here. From past the arc. Here's MP. And MP throws it down. And we've got an injury out on the floor. Very unfortunate as always, guys. Uh, don't like to see this. And boy, this really doesn't look good. That, just the way it happened. And you know it's serious if he's heading to the locker room. It takes a lot to get him out of any game. Morris is checked in for Washington. Your winner, Morris. Here's Beal. The Wizards with another miss. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. G.A., he's asked to carry a big-time scoring one, but Bradley Beal makes his teammates better as well. And that's an area, Kevin, he has really grown. And his playmaking, when the defense overcommits, you make them pay with a pass. 
MP, no good. And so it's Beal who brings the ball up for the Wizards. Eight point game. Morris, no good. Had enough room to finish, and that's one he'll usually make. Nash with it. Inside. And Jackson throws it down hard. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Couldn't come up with a much better start than this. They just have to keep it going. Chandler, the pass to Morris. Pass to Gafford. On the wing, Chandler. Outside, Beal. Just five to shoot. Washington needs to get a shot off here. Morris, no good. Memphis leading by 10. Fifty seconds left here in the opening quarter. Here's Jackson and the dunk by Jackson. Jackson. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hence the big lead. They got off to such a hot start, and that can keep you energized throughout the whole game. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Gafford oh! and the rejection by MP. Here's more. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Really seizing the momentum of this game, but doing it with a methodical approach. Yeah, they haven't appeared in a rush at all. They are just playing to their strengths and building this lead out well. And again, Washington, no good. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. And here's Nash. To the middle. And MP gets it to go on the assist by Nash. Nash has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Here's Kispert. And the rejection by MP. And so it's the Memphis Grizzlies with a sizable lead as the quarter wraps up. They're ahead 16 points. They've had such great ball movement and shot selection. And it's led to a terrific field goal percentage. Right there. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And looking at what we've seen, Grizzlies pretty much in control here. Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Credit the game plan coming in. They've identified some weaknesses, and they are exploiting them. So on the floor to begin things for Memphis here in the second quarter. We've got Williams. MP out there with Smith. Then there's Hayes, and it's Moore in at the two guard. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thanks very much. MP in the last game against Indiana was terrific. He finished with 64 points. And as he always seems to do, piled up rebound after rebound. It's rare to see any player put up numbers like that. It's likely a game he'll always remember. Kevin? Thank you, David. You're right. He was a one-man wrecking crew in that one. Yeah, he was not going to let them lose that game. We'll see if he comes in with that same attitude tonight. And I'll be interested to see if the opposition looks to double him because this should open up opportunities for his teammates to get going. He gives up a bit of size at the center position, but his leaping ability, well, let's just say that makes up for it. Davis surveying the floor. Hooker the pass to top. Nice ball movement by Washington. Back to Booker. Over Hayes. Booker, no good. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Now Hayes. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. It's good. And 10 of their last 12 coming off assists. Quarter number two, we're about two minutes in. Moore against Christie. Pass to Davis. The pass to Christie. The shot. It's good. It's his second basket. He's shooting two for four. And the Grizzlies leading by 20. Outside Williams. Back to Hayes. 
to the inside. He's looking for MP and finds him. That shot, no good. And Washington the other way now. This game is finished. They'll be off to Portland taking on the Trailblazers. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. The Grizzlies have gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. And that one drops for him. MP's got 24. Nicely done. They continue to attack inside, and that's 10 points in a row in the paint. Let's it go from deep. Christie can't make it. Not his best efficiency this quarter. Eh, look, sometimes that's how it goes. And Hayes kicks to MP. And the dunk by MP. It's not surprising to see MP fill it up offensively. He has a tremendous work ethic and has set himself up for some success in this league. Kispert, the pass to Davis. Nice D from Williams. Memphis with the ball. A big stretch here going 10-2. Hayes finds MP. You know, Greg, we know to win at the highest MP. level, you need your star players to show up in the big games. With that in mind, what's the key? You know, it, it's their will and their ability to fight. If you look at the great ones, even when things haven't gone their way, they, they continue to scratch and claw and do everything in their power to try and get the W. Yeah, easy call. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Grizzlies. First team foul. First free throw is good. MP has been leading the charge for Memphis. He got it. With the score, the Blizzards, 33. The Grizzlies, 60. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. You look at MP in this one, he's been everywhere. The way he was able to finish on the block was incredible there in that first half. The question now is will the defense keep letting him punish them inside, or did Coach have some new ideas for them? Todd out there with Daniel Gaffney. Then there's Davis, then there's Christie, and it's Booker in at the one spot. That's the five on the four for the Wizards. Passes to Gaffney. Outside, Davis. Over Williams. Gafford trying to break free. And it's off the back rim. No good. MP left side. Outside, Williams. Back to MP. The jump hook. Christie with the rebound. Washington shooting at a 32% clip from the field. They're just not executing. Here's Davis. It's not going to go for him. And it's Memphis the other way. Going to high school in the L.A. area, Zaire Williams played on a loaded team. Yeah, of course, Zaire was a first-round pick in 2021, but he was the high school teammate of B.J. Boston, who was also selected in that draft. You throw in the sons of LeBron and D-Wade, and look, let's just say those gyms were sold out. And the shot is good. Drummond's got his second bucket of the game to go. And finally, someone scores. It's a slugfest. Maybe not the prettiest game we've seen, but sometimes the best wins are the ugly ones. Davis kicks to Booker. Pass to Gafford, and the ball goes out of bounds. Pass touch by MP. Great instincts from him to get a hand on that pass and tip it out. Yeah, I think he was hoping to maybe even get the steal, but I agree, he still got a good outcome. That's not how you want to come out of the break. Three straight misses, they need to settle in quick. And it took some time, but hopefully getting that make will kind of kickstart and kind of wake them up here in this third quarter after missing their first few shots. Now, here's MP. He's covered closely. Oh, and it looks like that's going to be a goaltending call. Yep, that's it. So they'll get the basket. 
just barely too late and, and catches it on the way down. He's already in the air there, committed, so can't fault him for going for the block. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, they need to regroup and maybe try and draw something up that can get them a clean look at the basket. Todd passes to Davis. Wizards passing it around. Pass to Christie. Here's Todd. Seven points in the game. Just four to shoot. Over MP. That one a little long. Out of halftime. Not the way you want to execute. Just one of five from the field. Hayes the pass to MP. Lays it up and banks it in. MP. MP's got four points now in the quarter. He's been dominant all game long. Nobody on the floor can stop him. And look, let's just say he knows it. The pass to Christie. Over Nash. And another miss by Washington. Got to find easier shots when you're already struggling. That's not going to get it. Knocked loose. Hayes the pass to Nash. Here's MP. Good, and MP. the assist goes to Nash. Assisted. Nash has got his fifth assist in this one. And his ability to efficiently score, that's really helped him out in this one, putting them ahead on the scoreboard. For Memphis, they've gone an even 50% from the floor here in the third quarter. Four of eight. Williams passes to MP. Rebounded by Gafford. Gafford's got his sixth rebound on the night. On the wing, Booker. to the paint and Gafford throws it down the finish was nice but the setup was better yeah GA the pick working to full effect before the stuff yeah you like the pick to set up the open shot but when it leads to a dunk okay even better you'll take it here's MP and there's the bucket MP. staying with it on the offensive glass getting it done MP's got 36 Wizards have gone just 25% from the field here in the second half. They're two of eight. Outside, Davis. Passes it to Todd. The tray. It's rebounded by Memphis. MP's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Let's it fly. Here's Drummond and a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Drummond's got four this quarter. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Christie the best to top. Davis against Williams. Pass to Todd. Three-pointer. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Davis has got four assists now tonight. Watch out. Now that he's got his first three of the half, there might be more in store. Now, here's MP. He's guarded close, and he makes that one. MP's got 38 points. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. That's a great possession. Put your best players in a position to succeed. Pass to Booker. Fires for three. Knocks down the three ball. Booker's got 11 points. And he's really shot the ball well, but, but it hasn't been contagious. Nash outside. Bounce pass from Williams. Here's MP. Rebounded by Gafford. Gafford's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Floats one. And it's sent back by Drummond. A high motor keeps Drummond engaged defensively. He doesn't want to let any shots go in. Now, here's MP. He's guarded closely. Comes up empty down low. Washington has gone 2-3 of three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. No good from Booker. And here's Williams now. He'll bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. Here's MP. And MP throws it down. 
Operation Feed the Horse. Feed them early and often. And guess what? It's working. They have the lead. The 19-foot shot. And it's Davis missing. And this is the type of game you just throw away as a player. He has yet to score a point and looks completely flustered. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. Joker finds Davis. Here's Christie. Back to Davis. Kicks it out to Booker. Cafford trying to break free. The Wizards with another miss. Grizzly shooting it well here in the third, about 50%. Down low. Here's Truman. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Richard, you were part of a Cavs team that came back from three games. Substitution on the court. Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. So on the four for Memphis. Nash is out there with Rodgers. Then it's MP. Then it's Williams. And they double up MP. And the layup's MP. good off the glass. MP's got 44. Ooh, he's been the guy tonight. Really impressive performance. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Rodgers against Beal. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. As you go back and look at the last few seasons, RJ, it, it seems like team success has largely been predicated on health. Do you feel like that has always been the case? I don't remember there being as many injuries early in my career, even with guys that were playing all 82 games. But you're right. Recently, we've seen a lot of key injuries. And look, this is my theory. Before, players used to get away from the game a little bit, take a couple of months off. Now players are staying in shape 24-7. Like they never take a break. And I think that's why we might be seeing players break down a little bit more. Yes or no answer. Too many games at 82 in the regular season should be less than them. Don't you ever ask me that question. Give me 82. I'd rather you bump it to 83 just to remove all doubt. <laughs> The pass to MP. Rebounded by Gafford. Washington's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Here's Lyons, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And the play-in tournament, Greg, is here to stay, but the terminology is somewhat in limbo. Is that going to be part of the playoffs? You hear people say it's not the playoffs, it's the play-in. Maybe the term postseason should cover both the play-in and the playoff. Something to think about. Here's MP and the dunk by MP. Yeah, it's easy to see why they go to him so often because they know they can depend on him to come through for them. Passes it to Farrell. We know, Greg, the league trending towards small ball, but some teams are having success playing two bigs up front. And I think the key is having versatile big men. If they can space the floor and play in space, also be able to cover smaller players, why not get the added rebounding and rim protection? And the baseline jumper, no good. Memphis has gone 4-7 with the long ball here in the fourth quarter. And the rejection by MP. Grizzlies have got a pretty good rhythm going offensively, shooting 8 of 15 for the quarter. Rodgers against Beal. MP. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three point play. And now we'll get a perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the Grizzlies. Morris has checked in for Beal. And they're drawing more whistles and working their way to the line here in the second half. Pass to Lions. It's tipped. It's two on one. Pass to MP. Oh. 
He got it again. Sensational. That gives him 51. Making it look easy. For Washington, they've gone 4 of 10 here in the final period. Not the time to go cold. Now, here's Gafford. Greg, we're seeing more fines recently for the language that players use with the media. Is that a concern? I don't think it should be a, a, a concern, and, and I'm not kidding. The, the league's going to have standards of decorum. You're, you're on TV. you got to keep it together. However, I think that MP. as a society, we're a little more tolerant of certain words that are used in public. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And guys, to go on a big run, get some breathing space, it has to be a great play on each end. There's the pass to Farrell. Morris outside to end the drought. Gafford, it's rebounded by Memphis. Rodgers passes to MP. And the dunk by MP. Okay, go ahead and flex on him, MP. Nice hustle for that second chance bucket. Washington's gone one and two from three-point range here in the fourth. Back to Lewis. To the inside. Here's Gafford. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Defensive and with that foul. one, it ends in an 11 0 run Second by Memphis. Foul. Tillman, he's checked in foul. for Memphis. Hayes comes in At for Nash. For and that one falls for Gafford. Memphis has gone 4 7 with the long ball here in the fourth quarter. Hayes with it to the paint. And he jams it after taking the nice feet on the run. A quality pass setting up a quality shot. It's just textbook basketball. Passes it to Farrell. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Two minutes. Richard, I know you've been to Africa. Your mom did a lot of great work there. How gratifying is it to see the investment that the NBA now is making over there? Well, I look at how basketball changed my life and allowed me to accomplish so many great things. And the more people that have the opportunity to allow basketball to change their lives, you got basketball without borders. You have academies in basketball. You now have the Basketball Africa League. It's great to see these opportunities extended to more people across the globe. That's why basketball is a global game. Shot clock at five. And another turnover here by Memphis. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for Memphis. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And the effort here tonight, adding to the W column for the season, it'll go down as their 48th win. And with this win, it gives them a sweep of the season series, even though it's just a brief two-gamer. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for MP. Honestly, I just love how relentless he is on the glass, making a big effort to pull the ball in and give his teammates extra chances. And so it looks like the Grizzlies will retain possession here. And the Wizards making a change here. Todd's checked in. Your Wizards, Isaiah Todd. There's 38 seconds left to play in the final quarter. They get it again. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. MP's got 57 points. Lewis passes to Todd. Nice ball movement by Washington. Pass to Morris. Here's the lob to the hoop. Very pretty alley-oop layup. And what an alley-oop. Those two read each other so well. It's a play I'm sure they love to run. Now here's Hayes. Lewis covering. Floats it up for MP. And MP throws it down. 
saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. And that score probably slams the door for any would-be comebacks. And look, they put this one to bed. So no problem for Memphis as they get the win. A resounding victory for them and Greg in enemy territory, no less. That's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done.